some of them enough of them check check I big up your mind po, po, po. representing representing mtazote jericho eh so a d so a key beach so madare so a eh, ongwaro mtayote kasi jawa mention manze representing Nairobi, you know yeah man Nairobi ko cool and deadly the temperature is just nice everything is set yeah man link and connect now anyway pa liko tuned in uh within the county each county uh, the 47 counties uh, welcome to the show this is wag one podcast another musical session today is musical wednesday so i'll just talk about a little bit about the about music and later on the show pia and kwanongelea about what's been happening also because it's wag one what's going on nini mikoe ki happen within uh kenya and we know the election thing and thing mikoe ki happen so takwana guzia that just kidogo kidogo sana now to hear about musical uh, Wednesdays uh, kulikuwa na a shoot I was doing just 10 days ago uh, this was um, on Friday uh, before the elections elections it was not happen on 9th uh, I think that was on a Tuesday and uh, the project is a, it's a musical project it going to fanyika on 5th now the project is about uh, it's a track called One Kenya and uh, it's it, in a combined two artists really young artists wame kwa scene wame come kwa kwa scene and they're doing the local music unajua the genge thing and uh, just local music imekuwa made in Kenya the tracks uh, the artists are moja jita ruthless na mwingine jita dang kulu na hasa ni waliambia ni waduye visuals for this song so kasema what's oh, oh, challenge let me take up the challenge and do the visuals. So the visuals already is go out uh, 10 days ago. I think nda kwa run up kwa screen uh, so that tutakuwa na chance ya kuona the visuals. Now what really caught me in this project is the uh, the theme of the song because uh, it was during the election time and uh, they really wanted to to do something that in relate now with the mood of the election and as everyone know uh, during the elections time every time 5 years kuna kuna hiyo tension ya you never know which candidate ashinda and the tension about uh, conflicts too because my youth wanatumika nga sana in this in this time now the guy the song i concept ilikuwa ni about one kenya one motherland one free land and uh, it talks about uh, ruthless when you end of the first one and i sing about the uh, and i sing the first intro the first verse and i talk about if you remember two or seven uh mavijana wengi waltumika waka pass away and uh, after that you couldn't see anyone kwa the burial you know most of the leaders sonye, the youth walikuwa wapigania onge waona kwa burial now the artist na go on to describe the time of election may come again my leaders may come may interact na my youth and uh, wamewapea mado but later unakuja ku realize that uh my leader akishaingia pale ndani wana wana alienate my youth wana keep the youth aside eh uh, ukienda kuna umsani anaitwa Dan Cool on the second verse anaongelea if you uki look up to uh, ukienda kwa youth fund eh uh, unapata mheshimiwa ana spend pale youth youth fund unampata kwa club eh uh, youth fund ina, ina sponsor table ka zote so it 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 make a sense for me in the sense that uh ilikuwa na speak to the mind of the people uh ilikuwa ina ina talk the moment ina happen because ground some of these things some of these things that to happen during uh, let's talk a bit about during the campaign period of which it was before uh, before before sixth or the voting day which was ninth kulikuwa na hiyo story ya wase kulipwa unapata mbogi za manduthi zimeenda area ka zote kulikuwa na issue kupea na ma food wasona fight over food uh, everywhere kulikuwa na issues mobs is it was happen now you look at pre election the election time it may come and we have seen it it the, the voting it when it happened the best way everyone was surprised especially if you could see the international media eh kina cnn walikuwa me expect manzeka check mbaya wakuje na zile headlines zao kenya is under fire cnn kulikuwa na sky news kulikuwa na ulipa news nyingi zilikuwa zinakam 
Uh, now the, the 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 negative connotation everyone knows with them like promote kukutrekwa kuonyesha vile election was the work then the election day ka happen everything was peaceful the tallying ka happen uh, I, don't, I think it will take up five good days or six good days and uh to corner what happened at Bomas during the proclamation I, I think for I think wa Kenya wamezoea sijini wa Kenya ama ni kitu tu iko within the eye hiyo story ya conflict manze story ya conflict hata last minute manze kwa podium kukakuwa na olipa conflict yani but uh, it happen uh, the announcing, announcing it happen now the aftermath is 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 what now to experience and a lot of stuff zimekuwa ziki happen in between the the election period uh, kumekuwa na uh, elections uh, rigging claims kumekuwa na threats kuna even the the Bakasi guy so I pass on because of this election returning officer i've heard a lot of people who talk about uh, job ya returning officer auta iwapata hapo any job ya ibc acha acha hizi job ndoko ndoko za clerk returning officer unajua hiyo ndo the main work pale hiyo ndo the big job yenye everyone manzana kula kazuri so wase wamekuwa kwa kwa street nimekuwa nikiuliza wase uh will, will you take the job man there was kila msana lia yodo the hardest job one is a take now not only that imekuwa one of the highlights of this election and the commotion imekuwa nayo the tension imekuwa nayo they are waiting imekuwa nayo the controversy imekuwa nayo because tunaona hakuna uh, uh, one decision inamekiwa now this song goes ahead and talks about now after the process what really happens because uh unapata one of the artists na talk about that vote for peace ila kwa eh, ukienda 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 mtaa zote ukienda mageto zote utapata hiyo ndo slogan eh, vote for peace vote for peace and that's the main theme of this song because inaonyesha the one Kenya one motherland one free land and everyone this time alikuwa kwa hiyo mmoja ku vote for peace because even when ni shoot TV da nilipata chance ya ku interact na wase kwa kwa ground and uh, even nikionyesha visuals hii video utaona a gentleman ameva suit there ana atka muhesh this guy alikuwa na pass just alikuwa na pass kwa street na aka decide eh hey, you visuals hapa anaona wasona duma visuals maboa mekama kama ai kumwambia utatokea kwa vida aka agree ni aje mimi ndio mimi niko niko ready kutokea kwa vida ilikuwa a good look because yeye mwenyewe alijibamba ku, ku be being part of this video kwa atka muhesh coincidentally when we were doing a scene ya kupeana do uh, the way tunananga the politicians of kipeana do coincidentally people were lining up for a do and that was the the the, the surprise part of it wasaki line up wana for a do ikaleta a lot of commotion it was just uh, uh, it was still kwa scene moja yani funny sana ku see how wasome zo ya majuto mezo ya kupewa do and for me i think ukiangalia even one of the highlights to mongela some of the highlights that was happened during this election ukiona um, even the voting time because everyone understands kulikuwa na over 2020 2022 22, 22 million voters walikuwa registered during this time but only when you turn out ni 14 and oh, around 8 million wa ku turn up and mostly na kwa attributed that are my youth i don't know the facts especially in terms of geography geographic gani nyi litokea whether ni women male uh, or but it's attributed that most of them are tokia when you are kutokia kupiga the vote ni my youth and it brings niki 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 play this song or during this incident i was wondering could it be that wasao hizi peana do the last day because if kulikuwa na hiyo chance kama campaign wasao peana do na unapata grao imeja everyone ameshipiwa uh, is, is it is it that during this voting time mayuta hakupewa means of transport hakupewa motivation ya kuamka hakupewa because previously kwa campaign wamezoea kupewa do ndo watokee okay. most of the people wanatokea ngajua kijua after after hapo kuna form ya ruabe eh hey, then ni jeep so hiyo ilikuwa tu a casing point me just could try to understand the logic behind wase kutotokea kupiga kupiga vote this time round especially the youth could it be ni hawakujengwa eh, based on ukeni niliona kwa grao this guy ki distribute aki act ni kana distribute do then loads of people wakapanga line 
then apart from that uh the the, the aftermath now is is after the tally everyone alikuwa na expect kutakuwa na commotion after the announcement personally uh, the mood ilikuwa i don't know how to describe the mood it's it's like uh ukikumbuka corona ikitokea corona ikitokea kulikuwa na like tension flani no one really know nini nini nafanyika kwa kwa street eh unakutana na msia na koa manze eh, unaangalia unashindwa wa eh, ndajipata kwa quarantine mimi the next person ndajipata kwa quarantine so kulikuwa na hiyo desperation kulikuwa na hiyo eh hiyo just sense of fe- sense of a sense of fear a sense of unknown a sense of uh woga flani tu and during in the same thing as i described during this uh, announcement eh uh, wasawa kafunga babiz then nania kanonsiwa uh, the previous dp now the president elect eh uh, wa, 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 opposition ime die bado hawajamaliza uh, history manze hawajamaliza uh, history wanataka kuifuata di page the last page bali tafika which is which is which is which is a good move because uki, uki go back to 7 uh one of the scene ilikuwa after the election just uh, some days after the election kulikuwa na a lot of commotion a lot of war and 27 2022 15 years later what is the same re- what is the reaction we compare 15 years later even 2013 9 years later that wasame trust systems zinye zinye exist eh uh, kuna kuna the supreme court so akuja kuwa na that tension because the opposition may realize niaje tunaenda kwa kwa supreme court na to sort the issue out na i think this is the best move whether kutakuwa na a lot of commotion in the next uh, one month or two months it's better to go slow evil wasawa ki adopting mdogo ukicompare na vile covid ilikuja wasepi walikuwa na adopt mdogo kulikuwa na tension but my information ilikuwa na ina, ina, ina minimizewa vile na farm ina spread vile na father and wasa wana relax based on uko wapi same spirit imefanyika na the same with the election at least kumekuwa na the petition imemekuwa sawa imekuwa na confident that kuna another route of doing this na it, it's a good look because it may bring a sense of what we were doing in this project especially this song is that one one kenya one motherland one free land and uh, may bring your concept ya ya, ya peace vizuri and i think our guys man the uh, these two artists ruthless unaweza enda waangalie and put up uh their link the youtube link of the song so that unaweza enda uone see how these youths ni 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 ba youths wanna do uh upcoming artists na wanna push a lot in this game na wana try ku it's mili ni bamba juu hawaku bring at vibe ya eh, kuna hii vibe ya stare ya nasa ngwai pombe and the rest you know na iko kwa wise on their side ku bring vibe ya election vibe ya peace na vibe ya ku promote then on the scene that day kwa grao pia ni bamba because everyone alikuwa anataka kutokea kwa vida i never expected this that everyone anataka kutokea kwa vida the, the women walikuwa anataka kutokea kwa vida who speak about uh, one Kenya vote for peace eh uh, hizo ndo ilikuwa ili scene ni nibamba sana because inaonyesha wase wase wa, wa vibe ya woman ze. and and for me the process it happen uh, now just uh, this election apart from some of the highlights that was ki happen uh, a lot of drama the 0.01% drama me ki happen na with that yo 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 tutaiongelea tu siku ya supreme court wacha kwanza hiyo story uh, 1 percent we postponed for now hiyo hesabu itapigwa kwa supreme court but me personally me nibamba ikionyesha just wasa na views tofauti na right now wasa ku ready accommodate each other and then kuna a lot of spaces social media zina zinapatia wase voice ya kuje express ukikam na 0.01 for example everyone kwa twitter alikuwa kwa twitter kuna chance ya ku ku, 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 ku break down it's not like to seven mlikuwa tu kwa keja manze unaona kbc pale unaona citizen pale au na the next thing unaweza enda maybe muende meet kwa ki group mali mu discuss mu discuss then what itakuja whether it's propaganda fake news or re, real news 
what um, na decide among that group but right now anyone anaweza kuja na news so that it's, it's accurate news or fake news anyone can debunk it so with this 0.01% everyone ambaye try to debunk it and i think about it akwa debunk kwa supreme court uh, going onwards so basically i, I think the process yote ni i open up kwa everyone it's really a big eye opener because it you know say that how kenya is it how kenya iko how institutions are kenya ziko and how they ready pia mionyesha growth ya wase eh wase walikuwa tu seven mimi nilikuwa youth manze nilikuwa raima pale then niki compare pia na 2013 mpata mmaliza high school pale and personally when my high school so right now 9 years or 10 years later ina ni hit different yeah and 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 you know the vibe everyone anafa kunayo pale nje and and basically niambie kwa comment section what do you see the future of the democratic process yet ya Kenya because uh, it's musical tuesday pe bado naweza nimeguza ngoma Nairobi because nime miss vibe ya Nairobi sana yani but uh, a little bit just of the political scene unaweza niambia what do you see about easy dispute tuko nazo during election time do you think tunakuwa tunaweza kuwa able kuzisolve like tutakuwa able to solve this IBC stuff and we na lose a situation in future or or itakuwa itakuwa even worse tuta strengthen or itakuwa worse or tuta come up na new system because uh, if imagine just imagine uh, kama next election i don't know itakuwa when it maybe it in one month time or it in five years time then we have a turnout of maybe 15 million our to vijana then even if 15 million wakipiga kura na 15 million hajatokea your representation i match uh, your representation i match kuna nisha kuna wasi wako na liberty ya kufanya the process but hawataki uh, kujengage in the process and i think during this time pure solo come come up na idea ya we have if if can can people vo- vote online and the safest place for me and the kiriani e citizen because e citizen when get your passport when get it's already your id is the the they call it the government gateway ukona business lines pale ukona passport yako pale ukona ukona any permit una dai hapa kanairo iko pale any good conduct certificate so it's not like anyone can 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 enter id yako or log anyone can as a login dio if ako na credentials zako but it's it's more secure already because the government iko na data yako so if kama msana zaenda pale afinye tu kaki do the two easy na ienda di kwa the other end hapo ndo sasa servers zinaingilia na waso IT pia wanaingilia kujua kidude chako imesomeka huko mbele but waso wanaona house of sophisticated it is but if it is a trained it can be waso anaweza kwa trained on my own opinion because most young people wanaona ai history line ai wa bambi wa bambi i think apart from do yet liongelea story line ya bambi wase my youth wengi and i think in the next 10 years or the 5 years sa story line ita bamba wase kabisa because because also on to can this thing be done in a different way an easier way rather than kwenda ku make line then waso wa complain on the accountability on the voting process and everything in ime, ime engage your process so ni better eh, ni better wase wa nini ni better wase wa 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 kwa considered in that aspect unaweza niambia thoughts zako now i'll share the link when medai hiyo ngoma one kenya feel free to share out your thoughts on it yeman yeah, and uh, also make sure you click subscription button and i want to talk more on this stay kongelea politics sana because even personally i've never talked about uh, politics in any of the contents and i feel ni kitu tu tunaweza address for the season unashika because of the moment iko tuweza address then uh, later tutakuwa na move into the next uh, our co- co- our normal program uh, Thursday back to the roots Friday the best of the five and uh, Saturday come with reason so pale writers unaweza piga subscription button alafu just follow up some of these episodes bless up